My name is Leilani Doy and I'm a student physical therapist at Campbell University. Today I'm going to be talking about and demonstrating the open basket weave ankle taping technique. According to the American College of Sports Medicine, an ankle sprain is among the most common musculoskeletal injuries in America. Approximately 50% of all sports injuries are classified as ankle sprains, with the majority of those categorized as inversion ankle sprains, with damage to the ligaments on the lateral side of the ankle. The most common initial treatment, depending on severity, is rest. Rest, ice, compression, and elevation. Taping, specifically the open basket weave technique, has been shown to assist in a decrease of the amount of swelling that occurs following an ankle sprain. It can be most effective to apply this taping technique within 48 hours of the injury. This taping technique is multifunctional by providing support and compression while allowing space for the expanding edema and to not constrict the circulation. Before you start the taping process, you need to know whether the injury was an inversion or eversion ankle sprain. Once that is determined, align the ankle in a neutral position, approximately 90 degrees, or in as much dorsiflexion as possible if swelling or pain is preventing range of motion. To complete the open basket weave taping technique, use one and a half inch tape. First, place two anchor strips approximately mid-calf overlapping by half. Make sure to leave the anterior portion of the shin exposed. Next, place two more anchor strips on the plantar surface of the foot, again overlapping by half and leaving the anterior portion exposed. Then you will apply the first stirrup, starting on the medial side for an inversion ankle sprain and the lateral side for an eversion ankle sprain. I am demonstrating the inversion taping technique here. Now you will apply the first horseshoe, again starting on the medial side. Wrap the tape around the back of the ankle and attach it to the anchor on the lateral side. Next, you will repeat the application of a stirrup overlapping by half. Then you will repeat the application of a horseshoe, working up the extremity again overlapping by half. Now you will apply one more stirrup and one more horseshoe in the same fashion as previously performed. Depending on the size of the foot, you may need to apply more stirrup horseshoe pairs, but for this patient, we will have three stirrups and three horseshoes. Now, check for exposed areas on the bottom of the foot and the back of the leg. You want to continue applying horseshoes upwards to cover the exposed areas in order to prevent pulling of the current swelling to that area. Now that the exposed areas are completely covered, the next step is to apply the heel locks. The lateral heel lock starts by placing the tape on the medial side of the foot, then crossing under to the lateral side, wrapping behind the heel and onto the medial leg, continuing to leave the anterior portion exposed. The medial heel lock starts by placing the tape on the lateral side of the leg, crossing behind the heel towards the medial side, and then back up on the lateral side of the foot. Now you want to place anchor strips to the anterior leg and dorsum of foot at the edges of the previously placed tape. Apply three horizontal strips, one across the foot, another across the ankle, and the last across the leg. Make sure to fold over a flap on each piece of tape to allow the patient to remove or readjust the compression each are applying. I'm going to be applying a taping technique to your ankle. As you can see, your ankle is swollen following the ankle sprain you experienced yesterday. 
This technique can help to add compression to the area to allow for the swelling to decrease. Along with the swelling, the taping technique can help to decrease the pain that you've been experiencing since the injury. Do you have any questions? No. So if at any point the compression gets to be too much, you can loosen these three final strips by using that flap that I added on the side. Okay. According to the literature, ankle taping following an acute ankle sprain has mixed evidence on its effects on swelling, pain reduction, and return to function, especially when compared to other interventions. There is limited evidence to support using a semi-rigid brace over taping. However, the use of ankle taping or other functional interventions such as air casting for the treatment of ankle sprains does have statistical evidence of improved outcome measures versus immobilization. Taping has been shown to lead to skin irritation in some patients, so make sure to check skin intermittently following application.